Star Wars Jedi, Survivor New Details One of the most notable additions is the arrival of several new fighting stances for Cal Kestis as he goes into battle. We have five fully realized stances in the game, Asmussen shares. A lot of it depends on the enemy that you're coming across. It's advantageous to use certain types of stances against certain types of enemies, and it's up to the player to figure that out. It requires the player to break down the enemies and figure out what the best weapon of choice is. The new stances include a dedicated dual blade option, showing Kestis flipping and spinning his two separate blades at high speed. A separate new stance finds the Jedi wielding a blaster and lightsaber simultaneously, adding a new ranged dynamic to his moves. It really speaks to where we find Cal in this part of the story, Asmussen says. It's five years since the first game, and the dark times are still in full swing. He's an unconventional Jedi, and he has to do unconventional things. So, something that would be frowned upon during the height of the Jedi Order? Cal's finding he's going to do whatever it takes. Players also get a new heavy stance leveraging the crossguard-style lightsaber, made familiar by Kylo Ren. It's a more confident approach, Asmussen says. It's weighty, it's beefy. But you have to be very measured on how you use it because the timing windows are longer with the blade. In addition to the return of well-received characters like BD-1 and Sir Juinda, Respawn is introducing new faces, including a mercenary named Bode Kuna. He and Cal form a special bond, Asmussen says. It's almost like they're brothers. And they're not exactly the same, but they really do complement each other. Beyond story considerations, Bode plays a role as a buddy AI character who aids in both combat and traversal. Star Wars Jedi, Survivor will expand upon the challenging action RPG combat of its predecessor. Game director Stig Asmussen confirms that Respawn is leveraging advanced technology of the PS5 and Xbox Series X to create more dynamic Jedi combat. Adding that Jedi, Survivor will expand on the series' dynamic combat in new and innovative ways. In order to survive, Cal must learn new skills and grow his connection with the Force. That means we'll see the introduction of new Force abilities and new lightsaber fighting styles, as well as the ability to use a blaster. Respawn has also promised that Star Wars Jedi, Survivor will feature an expanded range of enemies, and that we'll need to cleverly utilize our training to overcome opponents and solve mysteries contained on both new planets and familiar frontiers in the Star Wars galaxy. Expect to see new skills, equipment, and abilities to augment Cal's range of fighting style and traversal options. The studio has also teased that there will be larger areas to explore and more opportunity to find hidden rewards across the new environments. Jedi Survivor embraces several new traversal mechanics, allowing for much greater flexibility in exploration. That includes using an ascension cable for climbing and crossing distant points and Kestis' ability to tame and ride mounts. It's much of a wider Metroidvania approach, Asmussen says. Cal can cross huge gaps by chaining several types of skills together. But it's also about how we approach these mounts and how they're used to negotiate and dominate the world. Star Wars Jedi Survivor is set to arrive on March 17 for PS5, Xbox Series X/S, and PC.